thinking of getting a GoPro 9 action cam, for many you should probably buy the GoPro 8 while it's still available at a discounted price. I am reviewing the GoPro 9 from a motorcycling perspective, but my comments may be relevant if you are trying to decide between the two models. A common criticism of GoPro is they don't iron out all the bugs before release, and we consumers become the guinea pigs. The Hero 9 was no exception. Problems with overheating, voice commands not working, unable to connect, screen lag and freezing, the list went on and on. Firmware updates appear to have solved most issues. It makes a lot of sense not to buy a new GoPro until at least the first firmware update is released. So briefly, in what ways is the GoPro 9 better than the 8? The resolution is higher, 5K instead of 4K, although 4K is more than enough for most users. If you are vlogging, the front screen is now bigger and can be used for viewing yourself. The rear screen is slightly bigger too. GoPro claim battery life is 30% longer. Tests show this is a fairly accurate claim. The lens cap is removable on the 9. The 8 model had a fixed lens which couldn't be replaced if damaged. However, most of us buy the very cheap but effective tempered glass for the lens and screens, which do protect the 8 model well. GoPro claim their image stabilisation improved with the 9. Personally, I can't see the difference, at least not for motorbike riding. Finally, GoPro has introduced the Max Lens Mod for the 9. Once you look into this, most of us will find it's not really a worthwhile addition, especially for the extra cost. Research it, see what you think. In what ways is the 9 model worse? It's bigger and heavier. For many, that is not an issue, but for motorbike riding, the camera is usually mounted to the helmet. It's surprising how you do notice the extra size and weight. Not necessarily a deal breaker, but noticeable. Unfortunately, the GoPro 9 still freezes regularly and you need to pop the battery out and back in to reset it. Firmware updates and fast SD cards do reduce the issue, but it still seems to happen with every single model. And to complicate that, the new battery door is much harder to open on the 9 model. In fact, mine was so difficult I was breaking fingernails trying to open it and usually resorted to a screwdriver. GoPro sent me a new door, which is a bit better, not by much. I don't know how widespread this issue is, but I have seen others complaining about how difficult it is to open up the door. The camera file formats appear to be the same, but I find the files from the GoPro 9 are harder for my computer to handle. They take a lot longer to import, they don't play smoothly in preview, they take a lot longer to render. I have a very high spec gaming laptop, so this is quite annoying when I make videos for a living. I'm keen to see if others experience this too. The on off button is not quite as reliable as the 8 model. Often I have to press up to two or three times before I can get the camera to start or stop recording. Admittedly, this is while wearing motorbike gloves, but there were never problems with the 8 model. Ditto with the touch screen, it simply doesn't respond as well as the touch screen of the 8 model. And a very strange glitch, often my very first recording for the day, it defaults to time warp, but is fine after that. Very annoying if you really wanted that first file to record properly. Hopefully the next firmware update will have that sorted. So, my conclusion? I suspect the average GoPro user may benefit with buying the 8 model. It's heavily discounted, bug-free, smaller, lighter, and already has more features than most of us will fully use. But, are you a vlogger? Do you regularly film in 4K, so the bigger 5K resolution would be handy for zooming in? Is the Max Lens mod useful? Is longer battery life critical? These would all be good reasons to shell out the extra cash for the GoPro Hero 9. Keen to hear about your experiences? Let us know in the comments.